morning. Hope I'm not clashing with anyone else. I've literally just got back from buying some stuff and thought, I'll do a wee live because I was expecting some jewellery, but of course, as we all know, Royal Mail or whoever they're using is being really, really tardy and it still hasn't turned up. Nice. So we have some clothes instead. So apologies for the lack of jewellery content. <laughs> that one will come later. It's going in my hair. I need to cut it again. I did it just before Christmas. I can't see a damn thing. So if there's anybody out there. Oh, hello. Three people watching already. Good morning. Good morning. Joan, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. I has a haul. Well, it's kind of like a jumble sale without the crowds. It's the only way I can describe it. Um, a lot of the stuff they had was stuff that had been there pre-Christmas. But they had a fair amount of new stuff too. Uh, I should have spent £4.50. In fact, I gave them £10 because when you see what I've come back with, it, it felt wrong not to. I just, I can't karmically live with myself. Um, I'm I'm not a Christian, clearly, but I do feel that I, it just it just seems wrong. They, they literally are taking pennies. So I, I just thought, oh, spread the love a bit, you know. For what I've got, I'm it's still a bargain. So, oh, good morning, Karen. Good morning, Josh, and good morning, Jewel. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so here I am again. It's a beautiful day here. Really sunny. Absolutely gorgeous. Woke up with the sunrise. Um, bloody cold, though. <laughs> it's really, really rather lovely. So I'll show you my bits if you're ready. Um, I've been, I have to say, I mean, you guys know I've been doing reselling for a quite a few years now quite a lot of years actually, probably about 10 years in total, but as a full-time business, about six years, I think. Um, and I've always found traditionally that January and quite a bit of February are very quiet. Not this year. I can safely say it's a lot better than it usually is. I'm not the only person. My parcel chat down at the Hermes shop also said that many people are bringing in many parcels. So it's not that I'm doing anything special, because believe you me, I'm not. Same old, same old. However, <laughs> I'm quite happy about it, but I need to finish off my tax return and time is against me. So let me show you what I've got anyway. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all enjoying January and the fact that it's followed by February and March and spring will be on its way. I found some slippers. Don't normally bother with slippers, but these said Harris Tweed. Now, given how cheap the stuff is here, I really look at it as if to say, even if it was free, would I still take the time to sell it? I, you have to do that. Um, you have to have some kind of cut-off point. <laughs> it's got to be worth your while. So these are rather lovely. They're, um, as I say, the Harris Tweed slippers. I can't find a specific brand. Except they're alarm protected. They say there were seven. That may be a men's seven. Very blokey, aren't they? Sort of moccasin style. Um, and, and with a furry lined inside. So, oh, hang on, maybe there's a brand in here. Produced under licence by W Lamb Group Limited, Wakefield, UK. Mm, okay. We just say made in China, though, so, ah, oh, Matalan. Tiniest of letters, they're Matalan. I'm not going to advertise that they're Matalan, but they're Harris Tweed, and somebody may want a pair of slippers. They haven't cost me much, so I didn't mind picking those up. Slight space problem in here. Because although I keep saying I'm going to move into jewellery and I have been doing more, it's true, I am getting more listed. Clothes for me are so easy <laughs> and they have such good returns generally. So I'll probably never give them up completely. Anyway, what else did I get? What else is in my bag? Two bags full, mind you. What's this thing? Ah, right, this is a vintage skirt. So I'm just trying to work out what's going on here. It's a vintage skirt and it's a wrap over skirt and it's a, I would say a fairly short midi length depending on your height clearly. But it was Jaeger and I do find that anything I get that's vintage Jaeger tends to go reasonably quickly. Now there's no way that fits a 14, just saying. That is a 14 and a half inch waist so that's actually a 10 in modern fittings so I will be saying fits modern 10 and giving the measurements in the listing because I sell a lot of vintage stuff and I would find it a real pain if someone said it's not a 14 
I thought this was very disco. Oh, it's Zara. You see, everything's packed so closely together on their rails, it's very difficult to see. I picked this because of its style. Metallic, very 70s, very Studio 54. Very Studio 54. Um, A-line skirt, probably a midi rather than a maxi, depending. And it is a large, which means that that means it'll fit a 10 to 12, because we all know Zara, Zara and their bizarre sizing. It's actually quite nice because it's a mesh layer, sort of a see through layer over an under layer. And it had a little thing on it, but there you go, that's come off. I don't know what that was. Chocolate, probably. So there won't be a lot of money in that, but again, these are these are bread and butter stuff that have cost me next to nothing. Pick this because of its colour. Ooh. Jewel went to a 10 p bric -a sale yesterday at a charity shop, got about 50 items. <laughs> That's fab when that happens. There are places that have sales and all suddenly shift stock, but they're really bad at telling people, I find. Um, yeah. And that I find bric -a brac if I've got some, I'm. it goes so slowly. I, I just can't be, I can't be doing. So I may drop the bric -a brac side of things, unless it's something extraordinary like white fryers or you know, something fabulous like that. Pick this up because it's monsoon, it's an extra large, and it's really just an open bolero shrug type cardigan with this nice sort of texturing on the textured bubbles. Probably a good keyword there, but um, I'm kind of thinking, you know, yes, summer will come and holidays and being at home or whatever it is people are doing this year. Um, but you always need something over the top of a summer dress. So they don't bring a whole heap of money, those sort of things, but they sell. Um, I'm pleased to say I've sold a lot of jumpers and coats this year, which has helped with my stock <laughs> and space. Deet Lind. Deet Linda? Is that it? Deet Linda? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. And it's a sunny, frosty day in Bristol too. Oh, lovely. I'm glad it's all, all lovely. Now this surprised me, this is a velvet dress, which I kind of, when I saw it, I thought, oh, that's going to be M&S or something. Crushed velvet, never quite goes out of style. And it's really a little, not a long dress, sort of knee length, but surprisingly enough, it's super dry. I pick up odd bits of super dry when it's cheap enough. I generally don't tend to bother, which is probably my mistake. It's a size medium, and it says something the art of exquisite fine designs. Well, they're a bit above themselves, aren't they? It's fairly plain, though. But you know what? That's actually a kind of a burgundy red. It's not as pink as it's coming out on the screen because the sun is washing everything out. <laughs> you keep saying you're going to stick to jewelry and clothes, but you can't help it. And at Tempia Throw, I don't blame you, Jewel. And this is the thing. When you get opportunities like that, you have to kind of take them up. Because it would be rude to pass it by. See, last cares. Hi, it cares. A beautiful day in Yorkshire. It looks like the whole country is having a beautiful day, possibly with the exception of Scotland, if I remember the forecast. Yeah, crushed velvet, always a winner. I love velvet anyway. Um, that might fit me, but it's, it's, I don't tend to wear, I well, know I do wear short if I'm wearing it over leggings, but it may not be for me. Right. This I picked up because I'm a soft touch. <laughs> he's so soft and look at the stripey legs now i don't know if he's worth much but he's a, he's white stuff i mean since when did white stuff start doing plushies it's the softest thing ever though so i kind of picked that up because it's, so it is fat face fat face not white stuff there you go very interchangeable brands i find <coughs> excuse the fault <clears throat> very interchangeable brands uh what does this call it Star name, Yar Yale, something Teddy, Yale Teddy. It's obviously to do with skiing and things, but I just thought that was quite cute and he's in incredibly good condition. He's not been, he's not got baby juice. So I don't know, probably not worth anything, but I couldn't help myself really. And the inevitable shoes these are clocks beige sandals 
And indeed, they are based indoors. Now, the comfort stream doesn't bring a lot of money now because the market is fairly saturated, but they're in very, very good condition. As I say, they have cost me next to nothing. They're a comfort shoe with the hook and loop. We can't say Velcro, don't we? Um, they just need a little wiper because they're dusty. A little wear to the soles, but, you know, come summer, a comfort shoe is going to be what's needed. Don't expect that to move for a while because it's out of season, but, you know, it's coming, isn't it? Better weather is coming. So I'm just going to put a very large roll of bin liners elsewhere. There. there we go. So that was that was bag number one. And I have a bigger bag. For bag number two. So the last lot were clerks. And these are hotters. Hello Anne. I hope you're well. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, so these are hotters again. They are comfort comfort sandal. They will be fabulous. In the better weather, they just need a little wipe over. And yes, they're not new, but they are certainly not heavily used. And they will be a godsend to somebody come the summer months. In the original box, with nice mixed packaging music. There we go. That's why I like the original box. Gives you the model number. Um, and I've picked up quite a few pairs of comfort shoes, certainly hotter, mostly hotter, from this particular charity, from this particular church. So I'm finding that I don't expect them to go just yet, but they're coming in for next to nothing, so it's all good. They were not all individually priced. I paid £10 for the entire, for everything that I'm showing you. Um, in theory, I could have paid £4.50, but I felt bad. Um, I will always pay more, but I gave them £10 this time because they're lovely people, they're volunteers, it's for a church, which isn't my particular flavour, but I, you know, I, they do amazing work in the community. They're very active and helpful in a part of, of our town that, that has, has its issues, and it just seemed karmically right to make a decent donation, really. So, and also, I'm going to keep going back there and picking, so it's it sort of makes sense, really. They must have realised that I'm not wearing all this stuff myself, because clearly, black is the colour. <laughs> Jane's not normally home on a Wednesday. Oh, no, you got COVID. Oh, gosh. Well, I hope it's the very minorest thing that you just tip to the positive and it will scoot off into the distance very soon. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that can be a good thing that you can't go to school or it can be a like, not a good thing. <laughs> I hope you get better soon, whatever, really, because that's, that's a pain. So many people have gone down with this last variety because of its super transmissibility. Thankfully, the severity of the illness it seems to give people varies, but is generally not as severe as the others. And long may that continue, because then we'll come out the other side of this. This was new with its tags. Again, it's one of those little cardigan thingies. Um, an open one or buttons is this one. This one's open too. Nice red colour, always drawn to red. Um, and it's from East. It's a cotton viscose angora type blend. But again, new with its tags. And it was originally £59. What the Jeff? I mean, really. And it's a size large, which means it's going to fit, you know, more people. It should sell through quicker. So I certainly said yes to that. She says, waiting to see the floor or some horrific mishap that's occurred to it. But no, it all looks in good shape. It all looks in good shape. So I'm very pleased with that. That will easily pay for the whole bundle. So Jane's just got cold symptoms at the moment. Double jabbed and boosted. So hopefully it'll be very mild. But like you say, you have to keep in to protect those who need protecting. So fair enough. Okay, I've got slightly bigger stuff here. Again, what a surprise. I picked this up. This will have to go on right now. I need to get this listed. And it's a sort of bomber jacket, shearling style. I don't, when they're this cheap, if I like the style, I'm not bothered about what the brand is. And this actually feels like it's real. It is. 
Guaranteed real sheepskin. It's quite vintage. It's made in England. So, okay. Now, there's something that's come a little loose here. I think that's just the, what kept the pocket. Yeah, I can see that's what kept the pocket from flapping about. I can repair that because I have leather needles. Needles for leather. <laughs> They're not made of leather. And that's lovely. It's all shearling inside. Super warm. I might try it. You know what? Let's have a go. Oh, it's a bit big for me, I think. Oh, hello, Maria. Just my colour. Wouldn't you agree? A little bit big. Although, actually, now I say that, and it probably isn't. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. So it's one of those. That's not my waist, though. My waist is up here. So this is kind of on my hip. What's going on here? Oh, no, that's fine. That's just a little fingers. See, I don't like things being right there because that's not my slimmest part of my body. Uh, are we going to find the inevitable twist here? No. It's actually quite cool. I suspect. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? There's extra buttons. I don't know what, what that's all about. I suspect you can somehow do that with it. Not sure that it is me. <laughs> but, you know. That has got to be listed um, very, very soon because I want that to sell quite quickly. That should do well. That's better than I thought it was going to be. You know, when you sort of grab something, they literally have stuff slung over the backs of chairs and all sorts. But that is really nice quality. Very pleased with that. that that's a bit of a that's a bit of a humdinger that one. Right. It's definitely made my morning worthwhile. Let's move these slippers. They're going to run out. I'm going to I'm going to get drowned in a pile of something in a minute. Clothing. Okay. Right. Well, in addition to that, I also picked up black leather. Is it a Harrington style jacket? Um, but it's a, a plain biker jacket. It's one of these ones with zip. Just a plain zip straight up the front um, at an angle. Alder collection. Don't know what that is. It's a large. It's a ladies. Again, it's a nice size. There were lots of suits and things there today, but I I have had suits from the sale. I have sold suits from the sale, but I'm avoiding like the plague anything that is short because I find that they really don't go. You know, if you can find regular, okay. If you can find tall, well, hey, and even better. Let me just check. This is this is real leather. It's all nicely lined. Looks like a decent quality thing. Out shell, genuine leather. Lining, professional clean only. Yeah, I don't know the brand of the collection. I don't worry about a brand. That's that's a good that's a good style. It's retro style, and it's very soft leather. A little bit of leather food on a couple of places where it's rubbed. Very pleased with that. I can't remember. You know how you just don't remember what you picked up? <laughs> what have we got here? Now this Club L, I'm thinking this might be a little bit vintage as well. But again, I picked it up because it's velvet. It's short. I mean, look at that. And it's got all this sort of detailing. Someone will love that. It's very cute. I'm not sure if that would fit a 12 because well, maybe it would. It's got stretch in it. Yeah. So it could be modern, but I like the style of it. Retro style. Again, not bothered about the brands for that. But can you see there's a theme of velvet going on here? These people love it. This I picked up because it was really cute. It's a very crop top. Crops, of course, seem to be in again at the moment, but that 90s vibe. This has got embroidery. It looks like it's had very little wear. It's got a bit of studdage going on. Very, isn't it? It's very, very. It's, it's very cute. I mean, not the sort of thing you'd see me in, clearly. I'm glad you love velvet. Yes, so do I. I think, you know, if you love velvet, that's the way it is. Now, this is just River Island. You know, about... That's a real festival piece. And if we get any festivals this year, there's going to be a lot of kids wanting to buy clothes for. So, oh, excuse me. 
Stop to it again. Who oh, loves a bit of velvet? And I think the last couple of things I've got here, this I saw when I went round again, because I go round, pick up an armload of stuff, and I say to the lovely lady, can I make a pile here? Because I just want to go and have a check on things, and my arms are dropping off. So um, I went round again, and because they keep putting new stuff out, and it's how long can I stay there for? I've got other things to be doing. This is Paul Smith. Don't mind if I do. I mean, they don't always move quickly, but they will sound. This is just a cotton jacket. Um, yeah, cotton jacket. Where was the thing I saw? Oh, that was it. Strangely enough, detail on the inside of a bird. It's got a bird on it. <laughs> Sorry, just had to. Um, yeah, so... Uh, they always put lots of pockets in men's jackets, and I'm very envious because they should do that for ladies too. Is that double-breasted or is that just me being dumb? No, it's not double-breasted. It's me being dumb. <laughs> Hello, Daisy B. It's one of the best names around, Daisy B. <laughs> I'm going to make sure it's got all its... I've sold these before and they've been missing buttons and they've still done well. Well, anyone needs three buttons on a pocket, I have no idea. But this one... Thankfully, it's got all its buttons. Yeah, 100% cotton. And they do have a name, these jackets, and I've forgotten what it is because it's a long time since I've sold one. But it's a size medium, so that's, that's, I mean, I'd have preferred a large or extra large. But that's quite a cool chap's light jacket. It's sort of almost black, but it's almost like it's a deeply purpley black. <laughs> Very strange. And this is the last thing. Oh my God, I picked this up because although it looks pink on the screen, it is actually it is actually pink. Why was I thinking that was red? Oh well. I'd have preferred it to be red because I think red sounds better. This was one of the first things I picked up. It's a Land's End UK medium and it says tall. So that's what attracted me. And it's really just a fleece lined kind of dog walking coat, I suppose is what I call it, a walking coat. Uh, with its attached hood, which is detachable. It's Land's End, you know, they're decent quality stuff and they're surprisingly highly priced for what they are. Um, but, you know, in the weather we have been having, which has involved an awful lot of rain of lately, a lot of mud, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and generally being blown from one end of the town to the other. These sort of coats, as I say, well, I think they're walking coats. Um, are perennially popular. I would have preferred that if it had been red rather than pink. I can't bear pink. But a lot of people do. A lot of people like a bit of pink. Yeah. So, and it's in pretty good nick. So, you know, there'll be a few quid in that. I mean, I won't sell anything, anything for any less than fourteen ninety nine because otherwise I find it's just not worth the time and effort of photographing listing, bagging, doing all that. Um, if I have to reduce them because they've hung around for too long, eventually I will. But I've found that I've had sales on some of my oldest stock. I've been doing that really since the autumn, just culling the lowest, the oldest stuff and putting um, and making a price cut on of sort of 20%, 25%, something like that, every now and again. And that just stimulates a few more of them to shift. Um, I very rarely dealist stuff and just take it to the charity shop i kind of think it will sell eventually it's just got to find the right person seems to be working at the moment so ah yes a healthy new year i think we all need a healthy new year we all need um the warmth of the sun to come back and i think when we get get to about march everything's going to shift and change we're going to realize that in spite of this COVID thing not really going away, that it is livable and that it can be managed and that people can still have their lives and hopefully travel and see people and do what they normally do whilst being sensible and careful, I suppose. Anyway, lovely to have you all join me. I've wasted nearly half an hour of your time this morning. Hmm. And I've got to rearrange my room because I've got a one of those IKEA eight uh, four by two sort of 
box things coming in from my son's room. He's decided he doesn't want it anymore. So now I'm, and I'm not, I'm not getting rid of it. I will use it, but I have got to work out how, where to put it. It's probably going to go behind me and I'm going to move all of this, put the bookshelf out in the hallway and, oh, it's going to take an age. Oh dear God. But anyway, it'll be worth it. So that'll be fun. And then tomorrow, Thursday, tomorrow is going to be taxes day because I've done a lot of the figure work, but I put it somewhere in my infinite wisdom and I'm not entirely sure where it is. <laughs> yep. How stupid am I? So I've got to tidy my room, find it. And then when I found it, I can then think about possibly completing my taxes and having them all done, making a payment so that I can just kiss goodbye to that for the rest of the year. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope those of you who need to do taxes are, are keeping well up to date with them and uh, that you're having a good January. So I will see you anon. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye. Yes, here we go. 